All right, so we just wrapped yoga, and we're both feeling, you know what? A snack. snack. Nice. Didn't even practice that. <laughs> both feeling a snack. So uh, we hit Nomad Donuts this morning, so that was our sweet, sweet breakfast. We might be feeling something a little savory, so let's see what the grocery outlet has to offer us. Stay tuned. When you get real hungry and you need a snack, it's time to go on a snack attack. When you get real hungry and you need a snack, Leah's got your back. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my snack shirt today. Well, pizza's not really a snack, but Alright, we didn't plan this, but you know, we love pizza night. And we found pizza crust at grocery outlet for 99 cents. What? Two for 99 cents. That's crazy. Right off the bat, we see these veggie crisps with rice, peas, and black beans. I've never seen them before. They look interesting. I'm gonna put them on the list. Here's another off the eaten path, which I've never heard of hummus crisps with olive oil and herb flavored. Maybe Sounds interesting. Ooh, what are these? Oh my gosh. Look at these. Nana chips. Hot banana chips. Those are interesting. That's 99 awesome. cents? Yeah. We got a new wall that just came into play. Jungle peanuts? What are those? Look, they look a little different than normal peanuts, don't they? An Amazonian snack. Delicious and nutritious. Whoa. You look fantastic. Hello. Okay. Just got done with our grocery outlet run. Oh, um, I'm sure I'm the best news best ever. Best news, we got the little bell. If you go in there and you save $100, they announce it over to Intercom and then they ring this little bell. And we've gone there probably a million times, and today we got the bell yep. because we bought so much yeah. stuff. We saved one hundred and fifteen dollars. One hundred fifteen dollars, but we spent about that much too. Yeah. All right, but today for our snacks, we've got this um, off the eaten path, which is clever veggie Butter. crisps. Veggie crisps, and what I'm most excited about these non oh wait nana chips. I don't know, banana chips, they're a hot banana chip, so mm -hmm. I don't know if they're baked or, if, oh, they say kettle cooked banana chips, I'm not sure what that means. A um, saturated fats there. Yeah, but. so there's quite a bit of oil, but whatever, we're going to for those, but we're going to start off with these ones. Um, so Get the vegetables like, out of the way. Yeah, Matt likes to think <laughs> it's a serving of vegetables, but it's not. This is Ooh. one chip equals my veggie limit. Different than I expected. They're really thin, uh, but look at all those fun colors. So it makes you feel like you're getting eating vegetables. Mmm. Ooh, I actually like them. I don't know if you get any benefits of vegetables. It says it's made out of rice flour, sunflower mm. oil, dried green peas, dried yellow peas, dried black beans, and sea salt. I like them because you can't taste the. <laughs> But the veggie I don't think all. there's any uh, nutritional benefit to the veggies, but they taste good. So they made look, with real vegetables. And they look pretty fun. Yeah, but so are like potato chips. Exactly. Tastes like them. They're a little, uh, a little way, harder than I thought. The, pack, the packaging made them look healthy and stuff to say. But they're good. They're just like a salty, crispy mm. snack. But like they're thin, so crispier than like a pot chip. Mm hmm. But not as crispy as like a tortilla chip. A little too fragile to be a cracker, I would say. They're actually a similar consistency to the last week's snack, the popcorn bits. Not too crunchy, not too hard, not oh, too yeah. soft. Yeah, it's, a good, good. it's a good balance. Okay, well, now we're boring everyone, so let's move on. <laughs> those are good though. I'll eat those the whole way home. Okay. Hot banana chips. Oh, I have a question. Do you guys open your snack bags like this? Or do you use the little tear that they provide for you? Hmm. 
I usually always do this, so I get a bigger reach in there. But I know they provide a little, a little, a little seam. Oh god! Whoa! Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they're hot. Pretty heavy seasoning. Really heavy seasoning. <laughs> like you can't even tell that they're banana crisp because they're so coated in like this orange powder. So you can't even tell that they don't taste like bananas at all, which mm -hmm. is kind of a bummer. So you yeah. don't get like the sweet and spicy that I was expecting. The heat builds for sure. Mm -hmm. It starts off just really flavor punch, and then the heat comes in a little bit later. But I'm not getting any of the sweet banana, which is too bad. So, I mean, the texture is good. Those thin little crisps. It just tastes like the flavor. Tastes like. Though. Just like yes. the seasoning, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, these could be anything. These could be potato chips, they could be... A piece of styrofoam. A piece of styrofoam. <laughs> you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that they're bananas. So... Yeah, hmm? I don't know. I'll probably eat the other ones the whole way home. Maybe that can be our, our judging factor. Whichever ones we eat the rest of the way home is the winning snack for the week. So, surprisingly... It's Garden of Eden's veggie crisps. I was actually expecting these to, to be the winner. Most about I was really these. excited about them. Yeah. Okay, thanks for joining us for this week's Snack Attack. Snack Attack. One, two, three. Snack, Snack Attack. attack.